Good day, everybody. My name is Jarrell Short, and today I'm going to teach a lot of the fellas out there how to tie the average tie. Now, you may look at me and say, my suit is complete. But in the average eye of most of these people that love to get dressed up, my suit is only halfway done. It's only 95%. The tie will either make or break your suit. So today I'm going to teach you how to tie a tie. Now, this is your normal average tie. Now, back in the days, they used to have clip-on ties, you know, bow ties, things of that nature, but I'm a today's man. So I need to have my tie looking nice, clean, and fresh. So there are different types of ways you can tie your tie. Let me just remove my jacket real quick. So there are different types of ways you can tie your tie. The first thing first, you always want to lift up your collar and button your top button because this will allow you to be able to see exactly where your tie should fall. Now what most people don't realize is it's very simple to tie a tie. There's two particular knots. You have your standard, which most people do. And you see those little nasty knots that men have. And you have your Windsor, which I do. That's your Wall Street tie. That's your power move. That's when people see that. They're like, wow, he got a dimple in his tie. You know, he got a coffin on his neck or something. But what you do is you take the end of the tie. You have your fat side. And you have your thin side. You take your thin side. And you usually match it up to by about the fourth button on your shirt. This will give anyone their average height of exactly what they're doing. So you take that and you measure it to the length. Now most ties all usually have this little slit inside of it. Okay? But you really don't need to focus on that. So you take this and you put it to the fourth button. Now, the average knot, I'm going to show you what average men do. They go, they take it here, they put it through there, and they take it around and stiff it in there. And that's your average knot. Very simple, very disgusting. You probably see a lot of the old guys at church with this knot looking all messed up. I can't even do that knot. That's not a knot to me. I'm going to teach you something that the Wall Street man used, the power man, the money man. You know, you may see people like Sean Combs, Puff Daddy wearing this type of knot, you know, Donald Trump, Jay-Z. Once again, you start at the fourth bottom, and you take it and you make sure it's measured right. Now, you this is exactly like the old one. You take it and you go underneath first. And you pull it down. Keep that finger in there because this is gonna be what's gonna make or break your knot. And then next, you take that and you go around the back. And it's now now on the side. You take it again and you put it inside again. This is what you call your double Windsor knot. Now most people don't know how to do this knot. Then after that, you'll take it across the front. And you actually gonna go in one more time. Now I'm just showing you really briefly, really fast, because this is going to be a very short tie. But I just want you to see the small movement. And there's your fat knot. And there's your dimple. That's what most ladies want to see. You actually just fix your collar like that and pull it down. Now if you was wearing, say, you know, a cardigan jacket or something, that knot would be cool. Why? Because nobody's really going to see what the inside of your tie look like. That's why you see a lot of these cats having these big knots with these sweaters on, because you can't tell the length of their tie. But me, I really don't wear it like that. I'm going to show you the right way to do it. That's one way. And this is the way you should do it if you're wearing a suit. Because eventually you have to take your suit jacket off. We live in Florida. I can't wear my suit jacket all day. Even though I would love to. So once again, you go in. You go around. You go back in. There's your double Windsor. That's your knot. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to hold it very tight. And bring it around. Keep these two fingers here. You're going to go in through the back. And you're going to pull down. You got the cord? There's your dimple. Always got to get that dimple. You know, it's the teardrop. It's the one that the ladies look at your tie. they like, damn, he's sexy. I love it. You fix it up. Oh, hold on one second. I feel that. See? I tie my knot so good. I feel when it's messed up. There you go. It's still a little short, but it's okay. You fix it up. And then, of course, the jacket will complete the whole ensemble. You take it. Now, this is also a mistake most men make. If you're wearing a three-button suit, only button the top two buttons because you need the other button to open up to either fix your belt or to sit down comfortably. If you're wearing a two-button suit, you only button the top button. But there's your knot, there's your tie. And that's how you tie the winds are not. Have a great day. My name is Jarrell Short, and that's my tutorial on how to be sexy.
<laughs> you gotta show me that. Oh <laughs> man. What? And ladies and gentlemen, mostly gentlemen, that is the way how you tie a knot. Once again, this is the Windsor knot. Make sure you have your knot directly in the middle. You have your dimple. Most people call it dimple. Most people call it teardrop. Other people call it the coffin. And that's the way you tie a knot. That's my tutorial on tying a Windsor knot by Jarrell Short. I hope you guys learned something. Fashion is a statement. <laughs>